Hello, this is Derek from Reef Automation. For too long have I seen on forums and other social media a large debate. Which aquarium controller is better? Neptune Systems or GHL? So to answer this question for yourself, I've come up with a series. Each episode I plan on a step-by-step -step process to install, set up, and program both of these controllers. Please note that neither of these were supplied to me and I purchased them with my own money just to do the series. So let's get started. So first we're gonna do the Apex, or the Neptune Apex. So it's pretty nice, just out of the box, it has a little window in the front to show you what's in there, which is pretty neat. So we got our Apex base unit right here. Comes with four probes, it appears. Comes with uh, conductivity, comes with your pH, your ORP, and your temperature probe. Comes with one Aquabus cable, and it comes with your power bar, the EB832, right here. Okay. It also comes with some calibration packets, one calibration packet for salinity, and two calibration packets for pH comes with some screws to mount, comes with a little uh, Neptune sticker. So that's the Apex system. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the GHO. So this is the Probolux Megaset 6E. You can see the picture is, or the box is significantly bigger than that of the Apex. Well, the first thing I notice is there's just a bunch of packing peanuts in here, how it's packaged. That one's packaged a little better with some, some plastic here. This is kind of all over the place a little bit, but let's uh, remove it. And let's take a look what this guy has. So it's got calibration solution. And looks like we got pH and we got salinity calibration solution. Let's continue. So we got the controller itself right here. So let's open this guy up first. So this is the ORP probe. So they come in these little boxes. Our ORP probe, we got the conductivity probe, and we got the pH probe. Ah, it's in here, okay. Sorry, folks. First time opening this guy. All right. And we got our temperature probe. It's in this bag. All right. So we'll take that out. Take all this out. So it comes with uh, what they call a PAB cable or basically an Ethernet cable. It comes with a USB cable. It comes with a BNC adapter here. So we'll take a look at that. And it comes with instructions. Here's the power supply for it. All right, and this is the power block. All right, wow. This is quite big. Okay. So let's do some comparisons just out of the box. So in terms of packaging, the Apex definitely is packaged a lot better. Uh, this one's kind of thrown around with some peanuts, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like everything's in good shape, though, so there's no complaints. Um, if you're not familiar with the Apex, the Apex and its conductivity probe is calibrated by the factory, so they don't supply any type of cal calibration fluid for your ORP probe. So they, like I said, they include the salinity, a pH 7, and a pH 10. These guys include a salinity pH 7, pH 9, and a 220 um, ORP. So I'm assuming it's going to need to be calibrated. 
Otherwise, they wouldn't give us calibration solution. So let's kind of take a look at some stuff here. We got the Apex uh, brain and we got the Provolux brain. So one thing I noticed right off the bat is I don't see any way of mounting this. Um, it seems pretty solid. Uh, it's got a front display, whereas the Apex doesn't have a display at all. So that's one of the things I noticed right off the bat. So again, they both come with the same probes. They both come with salinity, conductivity, ORP, and temperature, which both of them have, as you can see. Um, one thing I noticed right off the bat is that the Apex itself is powered by the power bar, whereas the GHL is actually powered by its own power supply right here. So that's kind of interesting. All right. I do like that the GHL hooks up with Ethernet connection instead of USB. Um, but like I said, the USB does power it via the energy bar here. All right, so if we're looking at the energy bar compared to the Apex, you can see the size difference. It appears both of them can be mounted, I would assume, uh, anyway on both of these. This has a little um, mounting plate, whereas this has just some screw holes on the sides. Uh, this has the two pad connections, whereas this has a lot more connections. It has three uh, Aquabus cables. It's got three of one link cables and two 24 volt cables on the energy bar itself. And then of course it's got eight uh, outlets, whereas this only has six outlets. Um, and as you can see, the outlets are quite large. Um, so I'm not sure why they did it this way. They could have probably fit like two or three. They could probably fit like 12 to 18 outlets right here and then put maybe two of the larger ones on the side. So that's a little interesting. Uh, let's look at the cord lengths. So the cord length, uh, let's take a look. So the Provolux has an actually a, a longer cord than the Apex, uh, just by about a foot or two, it looks like. So just some initial thoughts on everything. Everything looks really well built on both ends here. Um, the energy bar is actually a little bit heavier than the GHL. So there's definitely some oomph to the energy bar over this guy. I mean, it's significantly lighter um, in terms of weight. You know, the GHL is definitely has a little more meat to it. Um, we're going to go over specifics in the next episode of each uh, brain and what you're getting more specifically and how it all works. But just uh, out of the box, um, we got some some differences, quite quite some differences between the two. And uh, like I said, the energy bar uh, has quite a, a larger size and you're getting less outlets. So I'm not too keen on that. Um, same probes, same probes, basically the same connections. However, the GHL has a lot more expansions on the actual unit, whereas the Apex is going to require some modules to kind of get it going. Um, we got another, it looks like this is a BNC plug of some sort. It looks like a stopper. I'm not sure exactly what it's for. We'll have to take a look at that. Um, all the probes look to be in good shape. Uh, big difference in probes is the temperature probe from the Apex is a RJ style plug. It looks like it's a two connector or two conductor connect, uh, connection. Whereas the temperature probe from the GHL is a BNC. The probes from the GHL seem to be a lot stronger than the Neptune. It's hard to tell though, uh, just by looking at them, but they seem to be a little bit more well built. I would assume that these probes could be interchangeable if you like the GHL probes. So, but yeah, just right out of the box, that's what we're looking at here. So, so the next episode, we're going to go over uh, the different connections. We're going to go over specifically uh, what each connection on the back of these is for. We're going to go over how we can mount this and how we can configure and connect everything. And then after that, we'll follow with some other episodes. So 
I hope you uh, enjoyed this one, and we have the entire playlist right here. So if you want to take a look at the rest of the video, just go ahead and take a look. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day.